Hi Dan here, Scooter Magazine. Right, I'm just doing a few videos, a few updates, so you've probably seen a few of the others. Uh, one is the um, SX200 RT225, I've done the uh, crank tree wheels, the new um, workbench and ramps that I've got uh, installed in the garage, some stuff going on with the Target Twin exhaust. Um, two more videos to do. One is about my TS1240 that I'm building for myself, and as part of that, the engine casings which I have bought and chosen to use on my build. And I just wanted to highlight these separately in the build. Um, the reason being is, is there's, um, there's a lot of choice now in the market in terms of engine casings. And we have never been so lucky to have so many you know, diverse uh, components available to us now for scooters, um, both in Vespa and Lambretta markets. Um, the Indian casings were largely frowned upon for a long time when Italian stuff was, you know, in abundance. But as the prices escalated and stuff got more scarce and rarer and rarer, people then started turning to the Indian casings. And quite rightly, because they were a really good bit of kit, there was absolutely nothing wrong with the Indian casings. There were a batch which had a problem with the rear brake shoe pegs, but on the whole, they were really, really good casings for the money. Um, but even there now, thing on the ground. There's a couple of places that have still got them in stock. You can still pick up Indian casings. I saw some on sale uh, recently um, available. Uh, I think there were 380 quid for the main casing and then I think it was another 80 quid for a chain case cover and another, I think it, I can't remember, I think it was 40 quid for a mag housing. And they're great. Whilst they're still available, you can still get them. You know, if you can do an engine build and you're working at the budget end, get them. Um, at the Opposite end, you have got GT casings, Casa casings, um, I've seen some killer casings, CNC machine, all sorts of stuff. But ultimately, if you're trying to build something and you're wanting to be kind to your pocket uh, and you know you don't have the um, facility, <laughs> like myself, to go spending you know vast amounts of money on this, that and the other, um, these uh, are brilliant, they're absolutely brilliant. The guys at uni who work closely with um, AF Racebeat um, have come up with these, and they're not new, you know, they've been out for a while now, but um, I've decided to buy a set for myself to use um, because the finish of them and the thought that's gone into them is great and the price is very good also. Um, this is the GP style chain casing. The finish of it, the surface of the gasket face, Everything about it, quite frankly, um, is good quality. And it's got the pre-tapped holes if you want to use the LI style adjuster ramp for your kickstart. Um, and everything else in it is just um, as you would expect, but also beefed up in the areas it needs to be. And they've done that on every component. The mag housing, for example. Um, they've just made it that little bit better than the standard one. Um, it's thicker in this area here, it's thicker where all the retaining screws for the uh, cowl goes, they've straightened up the um, state plate wiring hole there so it's easier to access, they've um, put in extra strengthening ribs in there, so they've taken what was the standard uh, one, got a high level of um, quality um, manufacturing going on, um, providing something, because you remember all the, uh, the sill stuff, it was perfectly fit for purpose and fine, but the casting quality of the old um, tooling was left somewhat to be desired. Quite often, if you wanted a, a nice smart finish to skew, you had to actually spend some time cleaning up all the, uh, all, all the, all the finish to the casings, but these come with a lovely finish to them. And when I got the box for the Uni uh, 200cc engine casings, and I had a look at it, I thought, do you know what? It's ages since, well, something of this sort of uh, quality, but at this price point, um, since I've seen something of this nature, <laughs> they've even gone to the trouble, um, uh, Uni Auto, the guys at Uni Auto, of writing a little letter to each obviously purchaser of these casings and they've highlighted the ethos behind why they wanted to manufacture these casings 
and the eight bullet points of what they have done to improve these casings over the standard ones. Um, and in brief, some of those points are, they've um, just slightly reshaped the transfer port area on there. Um, they suggest that that will give better flow. Um, they've slightly increased the gasket surface area for anybody who wants to tune or, or develop the, you know, the kits that they're going to use with the gasket face area on there. They've beefed up slightly the um, silent block um, engine mount area. They've um, just slightly adjusted the bump stop area for better clearance. The brake shoe um, pin is perfectly aligned so that you get a better, um, more even braking with the rear shoes. And the thickness of this section here. Previously, um, if you wanted to run some of the big cranks, the 64 mil cranks and some of the big web cranks that are now available on the market, what you would have had to have done was have all this back area on your Indian or, or Italian casing um, TIG welded up and then machined inside. But you had to have it TIG welded first to get the thickness in the casing. Um, but now they've made this casing just subtly um, a few millimetres thicker so that if you do need to machine out the inside here to accommodate bigger webs and bigger strokes and stuff like that, you can do without worrying about the, the strength of the casing. So all in all, they've done that. Um, and then they come with a beautiful finish. I bought these from AF Race Speed. AF Race Speed, if you ask them, will match up, because um, Uni haven't made a specific end plate for it. They match up a sill end plate to this kit, uh, to this uh, case. The case comes numbered, which I like. Um, so there'll be, you know, trackable and traceability in terms of, you know, which part of the production series they were from. So this comes numbered, and then AF Race Speed etch that number into the uh, into the end plate there. So I've got a matching end plate now that AFA speed have dialed up and got all aligned and correct. So I know now that for my build on my TS1240, which I'm about to run through in a minute, I've got a really nice set of casings, which, yeah, look, they're not the highest spec out there with all sorts of, you know, adjustability to get to bearings from this side or that side or, you know, you know fit monster 265 kits on and all the rest of it but that isn't what I'm trying to build um, and it's certainly not within my personal budget and if you've got that budget and you want to go for it great uh, you know there's some lovely stuff out there and I, I, I like it um, and it's good to see all that development going on in, in the you know Labretta world and the Vespa world but for me these cover all the bases really good quality bit of kit lots of nice additional features excellent price point I think off the top of my head, and I'll have to check out Race Speed's website. I think these were 500 or 550 pounds. I think that the chain case cover was around the 90 quid mark. I think that was about 40 quid. So, for less than, can't do my maths, five, six, 700 pounds, you've got um, a really nice set of casings with lots of additional features. So, these are the uni casings, they'll be on the TS1240 build. I'll do that video next, and so you can see. I mean, you just can do a TS1 kit with some tweaks to it, and I'll explain what those tweaks are in the next video. Cheers.